I first of all would want to comment uh, my chairman and also uh, the ranking member of my committee, your honorable committee, for uh, taking the pain to write a statement today uh, to talk about the death of Ruth Amai Shen. Mr. Speaker, we ought to condemn this. We ought to absolutely condemn this. And what we seek is justice and must be swift. Mr. Speaker, we have to celebrate community health workers. Many a times, they do what we in the health field, in terms of health service delivery, we can do most of what they do in a day. Whereas a good doctor will sit in the consultation room or take care of patients in the clinical in terms of the inward in patients, these persons always walk miles distances to house and individuals. Their targets normally are in the rural areas with poor coverage. We cannot and must not, in any case, at any time, delay the course of justice to find those who committed this crime. Mr. Speaker, may we say that if you look at eradication of Guinea World, if you want to celebrate this in this country, none other group than community health workers. Mr. Speaker, if you want to talk about expanded immunization coverage, none other group than community health workers. They go everywhere, and they are everywhere. Mr. Speaker, posting is a problem, especially to rural parts of this country. Community health workers sacrifice to be everywhere. In parts of this country where there is no chips compound, there's what we call functional chips compound. The functional chips compounds are those which don't have structures, but we expect community health workers to travel far to places to provide the services. And you have some Ghanaians to be able to kill, rob, rape, such dedicated person in this country at this time with all this, whether it's coronavirus or COVID-19 as it's being termed, they are the first people who actually report index cases in terms of disease surveillance in this country. Tuberculosis. The rate has gone down so much because they actually walk to the houses of persons with TB and make sure they take their medications. Perhaps many of us will not do that. There is no room at any point in time for this crime to have been committed. And it is important for us to have the Minister of Interior to update us and tell the people of this country, and for that matter, my constituency, for my health workers there to be safe and to be assured what is being done by the Interior Ministry. As soon as practicable, justice must be delivered and it must be swift. 